Well, good morning, honey. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's Friday morning. I got today off so we can get an early start on Memorial Day weekend getaway. Getaway. Yeah, we're going someplace we've never been before. I'm kind of excited. Yep, it's it's called, called, what is it, Thousand Hills State Park, yep, right? It's just outside of Kirksville, Missouri. Yeah, so. never been there, so we're looking excited to, we, uh, it's kind of weird, it's Memorial Day weekend. But look at this! Yeah, we got jackets on, we just had some storms here yesterday, and we had some warm weather this week, and now it's like 50 degrees, and it's going to be in the mid-upper 50s today, and kind of cloudy and gloomy. Today. And I'll tell you what, we've had, what, a week and a half of nothing but rain? Yeah, off and on, we've had a lot, so yeah, it's so pretty wet. If we but. see any floodedness we'll show you on our way up north so hopefully it'll be where we're going is what about an hour north of us yeah, it's about 70 hour, some miles hour and a half yeah so we'll see you when we get All right, there see you there Hills State Park here in Missouri, just about what four miles Outside west of Kirksville. of Kirksville. So it's really easy to get to, and Kirksville's only a few miles away, and it's a good sized town. Yes. You got anything you need there, of course, uh, from of course Walmart and all that kind of thing. And there's, there's even other a, activities. Uh, Macy's wasn't there? I don't no, know. Marshalls, yeah, something like that. So there's plenty of stuff to a go. Hobby Lobby, and I yeah. was kind of it's Plenty a bigger town than I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, it's seventeen, eighteen thousand people. So, uh, it's a college town. So yeah, that tells yeah, you. Truman about. State yeah. University is up here. In there are Kirksville, lots so. of things to do inside this park. There's fishing, camping, of course. There's uh, swimming. What's we doing there? Crazy Ooh. Memorial Day weekend. It's cold it's out here. Cold. It's like Mid forty-eight. No, it's forty-eight yeah, degrees out like here. That? Colder than we thought it was. I did but, track uh, my swimsuit, but I ain't there's, gonna get uh, it We'll on. probably have some other, maybe some more footage of the down by the beach. And there's a and, uh, re lake. a restaurant here. Yep, there's a restaurant down by the right on the water's edge, uh -huh. and there's also a B and B. Yeah. Oh, not yeah, bread and breakfast though. It is. You said it was B and B, and it's oh okay. It's bike and bike and boat rental. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Bike and boat yeah. rental. And, and there are nice little cabins. Like yeah, I looked it up. Cabins I looked it up. There are seven duplex cabins, which is fourteen uh, things you can rent, and they're fully. It's glamping. Yeah. And it's best. Yeah. Like this yes. Yeah. As for you, Anthony, if you want to come camp up here sometimes <laughs> with us, uh, it's got uh, all the amenities inside of them. You know. And it's not too far from where we're at either, no, Anthony. Down kind of down the hill here. by the lake, and this is camps. Campground number one that we're in. Uh huh. Campsite and number two. Campsite number two. I'll give you a little footage of it here in a minute. Some and of these campsites are a little short. Yeah, they are. Not real deep. So if you have a real long camper, it's a little tight. We did see they have, what is it, four family camps? Yeah, at least four family camp two sites. Two here. And if you're not familiar with the cam family camp sites, uh, here in Missouri at these state parks, it's basically kind of side by side two uh, spots, two sites for campers, and, and if it's an electric spot, then both of them have electric hookups, and you kind of share it, and you save some money, too. If you're camping with your family or your mm -hmm. best friend, you want to save a little bit of money uh, per night. I'm not exactly how much it is, but... I was uh, impressed. We have a couple of nice, good, decent-sized campers that we're able to squeak in some Yeah, place. right. I didn't think they yeah, would. Pretty, pretty small fit over there, but uh, shorter than even, I think, what we got. But uh, they are, now all the sites here in Campground 1 are paved. Uh-huh. And all have, not all of them have electric, 
but most of them have electric and some of them area here have 50 amp also as well as 30 amp and over on the campground number two is really uh, down the road a little bit and it's uh, gravel pads I think they're all electric and of course all the water is kind of spread out in water bibs throughout the campground but they're over on campground number two they're a little more fairly short and they're not real level so you might want to be sure to bring you know plenty of blocks to level up with and they're all of course gravel pads but they're still nice lots of shade uh, there's as in with most state parks I think I think it's most state parks they have these programs and this weekend is a pretty event-filled weekend. Yeah, we're they have lots of things going right on. Right next to the amphitheater. And they yeah. said there's a reptile thing. I don't know about uh, that. I don't know if we're going to go to that reptile thing tonight. But there's also petroglyphs around here. And we want to go look at that, yeah, which we intended on looking at that. that. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to spend part of the day, maybe sometime this weekend. You know, there's three of them. Three uh, videos we're going to have and one of them will probably go around and look at Kirksville a little bit. Yep, there's several trails. Oh yeah, there's here. some we're really nice to, looking trails Try to do here. that. It might be so, kind of muddy right now because we just had to have another what, couple uh, of inches of rain this I know, week it's, again. it's rained all weekend. Actually, it misted on us all the way up here. So, yep, and, and it's just cool. And, bit. It's crazy. For but we're going to make, we'll make the best of it. Um, so, we're going to, I think, show you our campsite. And we'll go from and there, go and from later there. on to today, we'll, in this video, we'll decide what we're going to cook for our first video, our first Dutch oven mm -hmm. gig for this video. So. Yep. Okay, I thought we'd give you a little tour of site number two here at Thousand Hills State Park. Paved like all the sites in campground number one. This spot's pretty level, not going downhill too much. Uh, side to side, of course, was uh, perfectly level. We didn't have to do any blocks or anything. And they got little bumper stops, curbs back here. and Not too bad or far behind where the 30 amp electrical hookup is. Over on this side, we got of course, a horse tub station. Really nice little wooden platform for a picnic table. Here's our fire pit. And if you look up above, we got quite a bit of shade. Fortunately today, shade's not going to be an issue because it's pretty cloudy. And we're hoping to not have to set up our canopy. We don't get any more rain, I hope. Most to clear out, I hope. Be nice and sunny tomorrow, but it's going to definitely going to be cool enough. But we shouldn't need canopy for shade. So there's our little nice tour of beautiful camp spot here, Thousand Hills State Park. Let's take a driving tour of campground number one at Thousand Hills State Park. The park was established in 1952 and contains over 3,000 acres. There are a total of 15 basic and 42 electric reservable sites in the park. Many of these sites are shaded by beautiful hardwood trees. Both campgrounds have clean shower houses, fault toilets, and dump stations. Okay, here we are at the Red Bud Trail, blazed in yellow, and it says it's a 1.25 mile loop, moderate 
which is a little bit of hills and stuff like that, and dirt path, and we just met some people that just came off the trail, so it's a little muddy, but we've had a lot of rain, rain this last week, so what do you expect? It's going to be a little bit of mud, so we're going to head off and see what it's like. Everything's so nice and green and pretty. Yes, it is. Yeah. Pretty neat little spot down here with the rocks. And Yeah, it is. Oh, 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 it feels good to sit down. <laughs> uh, That's pretty good. Uh, rough little trail, in a it way. It was rough. I almost fell at the bottom of them stairs. That's why we invested in your trucking poles. Yes. Kind of good to help Thank out. Thank you, with. Dixie from Homemade Wanderlust, for suggesting those. Yeah, it worked out <sighs> good for pretty somebody who, pair. yeah, for a fairly expensive pair, for somebody who, not the most graceful in the world. <laughs> I'm not. And it was pretty muddy, pretty and hilly. Slick. So it, yeah. <laughs> so it was a pretty rough little trail for moderate know. trail. My foot. Well, it wasn't bad enough. We need to have ropes. That or was something like in that. between. Well, for Missouri. Yeah, it was a pretty good trail. It yeah. was a rough trail for but it Missouri. Was like about a 1.2 mile loop, and yeah. I feel pretty it. Pretty nice. Made the mistake of leaving my long johns yeah. on. Now I kind of wished I hadn't. I started out cool this morning and you start moving around and get warmed yeah, up. Yeah, but quick. it's so much better than it was yesterday. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. sunshine. Not a cloud in the sky right now. Well, so I think we're nice. going to go back to camp. Have a little rest before we <laughs> cook something. Start cooking some more of our <coughs> beer rocks, isn't time. it? Yeah, beer rocks. Beer rocks we're gonna is go what it is. Back and cook. So, okay. So, we'll see you back at camp. Well, honey, yep. I just did sweet rolls for tomorrow morning. Spoiler alert, that's <laughs> going to be continued. We won't see how to do that until next week. That's right. But we're doing a German dish now, aren't we? It's called Beer Rocks. Beer Rocks. It's got cabbage and, and onion and hot sausage. Not mild, not medium, but a hot sausage. So we're going to show you how to throw that together. We gotta show you. Are we gonna go we, in there and show how we did the filling? Yeah, we better go the, to the filling first. Yeah, we'll show you how we did that because we actually did that earlier today. So it's cool because it works better if it's at least room temperature. Yeah, it's got to be. Before we fit it in. Well, it cool is better because you yeah. don't want to overdo your dough because it might yeah. cook it if it's hot. So yeah. ours is cold. So I guess I'll get started. Okay, I'll get out of frame and right. you keep going. All righty. Make a half a box batch of beer rocks. Beer rocks, I think, is how it's pronounced. Yeah, beer rocks. The recipe calls for a whole pound of sausage. We're only going to use about a half. 
What I'm pulling out is what we're going to have for breakfast in the morning. And what kind of sausage are we using, Angel? Spicy, the hot stuff. Breakfast sausage, right? Yep, breakfast okay. sausage. The recipe that we got from a friend of my brother-in-law's calls for the hot stuff. Does that look about... Yep, I think we're good. You want it real small pieces. Next, we're going to add the onion. Yes, Brian, my brother-in-law, I use onion in this. Now, it's cut really, really thin. And you want to put it in there first so it can get done. So it looks like the cabbage for me. Yeah, we're not one for crunchy onions and stuff in our cooked no. food, are we? No, especially not me. Especially stuff like this. Well, and I am not an onion fan. I can eat just about anything, but I've been like that even when I was inside my mama. Ugh. Don't like the smell of them, don't like the texture of them. But in some recipes, they are a must. And fresh is the only way to do this one. You got to have fresh raw onions. Now I'm breaking this onion up pretty much now. I used a small onion for this. because we're making a smaller batch than normal. And this should do, do one of those frozen bread doughs really well. Now I'm making this ahead of time because it works better if it's cool, this filling. So you could actually make it the day before you come out. Yeah, make it home before you bring it here, yeah. camping if you wanted to, to save it, it'll make it a lot easier out while you're camping. That's one of the reasons why you're using the frozen bread dough saved a lot of time and energy out here camping. Yeah, but you know me, I like making bread. Now, I'm pulling them piece big homes. Yeah. Told you I don't like onion. Now, this is going to be a little thinner than translucent, but not quite caramelized. Before I add the cabbage. Now the cabbage is the main reason why our kids don't like this recipe. Normally it calls for a head of cabbage. I'm a firm believer in this. Coleslaw mix, it works really well for most recipes that call for cabbage. And it saves on having to cut it up. I'm going to use about half of this. Now, it doesn't take long to cook this. You want to come around here and take a picture of this, honey? With that lovely little camera. But you want it cooked well. Now depending on what kind of sausage you have, sometimes it'll have a little more oil than others. That makes it hard to roll up when you get them done. That's part of the reason why you want it cool. That and trying to roll up stuff that's hot, it's not easy. As you can see, it's pretty well done. It's done enough where it's not going to poke through your bread dough. So I'm going to shut it off. And I'm going to guesstimate on which deal box to put it in. I think this will be enough. Here. Yeah. The green lidded one. You think so? Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be pretty now, full. I know, it, it's not going to hurt nothing, be pretty full. Uh, the reason why I'm going this route instead of a Ziploc, which we're big proponents in using Ziplocs, is it's hard to scoop out of a Ziploc. Yeah. And you are going to have to scoop. To 
bed we don't have smell-o-vision. Feeling good already. Yep. I'm not even hungry. You could eat it like this if you want Yeah, to. you could. <laughs> I want you to call it, if you could eat it. Beer rocks without naked, the dough. Naked filling. beer rocks. So basically, it's the filling for the beer rocks. Bernie, Bernie. Yes, kids, that's how it cooks. I didn't say it. I know you didn't. We're going to have to tell that story one of these days. Eat that another time. Yep. All right. Now, this is done. Like I said, you can do it the morning before, or the day before. If you do it the day before, your flavors get melded together a little bit better. But, oh. It'll man, be fine. It makes me hungry. That'll cool a bit. We'll put it down in the cooler. Yep. Well, we're getting ready to do a couple of things. One we're going to show today, and one we're going to show next week on breads. Now, normally I'd be making the bread, but I decided to be a little lazy this week. And I bought pre-made frozen rolls. Now, it's what? Maybe 50 degrees out here, maybe? Right now, it's supposed to be 60s and sunshine, but. So we gotta do this a little. It says to leave it out for four to six hours and let it raise. Well, this was froze yesterday. So today we're gonna get it out. One thing we're fixing that we're gonna show you is sticky buns with pecans. Kids don't like the pecans, so we have to fix this when the kids aren't around. Now, I have sprayed my dish so it won't stick in there, and I'm going to cover it well. Now, on this one, it's a little overkill. I'm doing the same thing here. Spray this. This is for tomorrow, which we'll talk more about. Yeah, because we're actually going to be cooking them, cooking them at the same time. Yeah, we? but we'll show you how we made it tomorrow. This one's for beer rocks. Mm, beer rocks are kind of something different, aren't they? Yeah, I guess they? that's how you pronounce it, yeah. beer rocks. It's like, like a beer and then a rock. It don't have any beer in it, though. <clears throat> it's a German Okay, dish. now, since it's... 40 some degrees. We're going to put this in the camper and let it raise. And I need some flour. Reason why you use flour is you don't want to have it stick into your cooking service. Sur surface. Okay, now, I'm going to kind of, we're thinking we're going to get six out of this, so we're going to see. I'm going to flour my bread knife, and I'm going to cut it like this. All right, now I'm going to put that in there for a minute. I think that's about a third. Yeah. About that. And that. I'm gonna need the Dutch oven, honey. All right. Roll it out. Now I gotta do this five more times. Gonna bring it up here and pinch it together. Oh, it didn't stay pinched. -ed. And this has got cabbage and hot sausage, onions. Yes, Brian, I put onion in them. Even though I don't like onions. Now, you turn them upside down and you lay them in there. Beautiful. And you start on the next one. 
And this last one's a little bit bigger than the others. That'd be mine. Oh, I don't know about that. We both love these. Kids could take or leave them. My brother-in-law, Brian, likes them. A lot. And if you look, there's just a little bit of Stromboli, or Stromboli, beer rod stuff left. All right, Wade, you just had a conversation with yourself on how many briquettes we needed to stack. Well, normally I've got this down to a science and embedded in my brain, but with stacking, it's a whole new ball game. We've had a lot of people that have questions uh, with how to stack their Dutch ovens to get a good amount of heat. Because so, they wind up burning some of, of it and the other time, of it yeah. don't get done. So I thought I'd do it. I'm not an artist, and it didn't take the time to do a real good job of drawing this, but I'm going to give you a quick tour here. <clears throat> so basically, with what we're cooking, if we're cooking it by themselves, we would take the 12-inch Dutch oven, and we would do 30 pieces of charcoal, 11 and 19. And then if we were doing a 10-inch by itself, we would do 9 and 17, so with that deep, Ten with about 26 pieces of charcoal. So here's what we need to do now that we're gonna stack. So come back in here, Angel. We're gonna use our normal 11 on the bottom, and of course we're gonna use our normal 17 on top of this Dutch oven. Now, since we're using these charcoals for this, we don't need these. We cross them off, and that gives these charcoal. And what we do is we're gonna add all these three together, and you get about. 47 and since you got this air gap trapped in here then we want to not want to overheat the bottom of the top in here so we're going to subtract about two charcoal so that'll give a total of about 45 pieces of charcoal and the other thing we need to do and i'll show you when we're when we're stacking them is we're going to put the normal amount of nine under this top this top dutch oven and the rest are going to be scattered out around the outside edge so hopefully That'll be how it's going to work. So both things get down about the same time and nothing gets burnt. Normal, do about 11 on the bottom. 10 or 11 on the bottom is a good number. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we still are going to go by our same method of putting all of them around the outside. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. Now we're going to put our 10 inch sticky buns kind of centered right on top. And it normally where we're going to be putting about nine, eight or nine on the bottom. So we're going to do that now. We'll stick them up underneath there and we'll go that way. That's a good start. Now we'll keep putting them around the bottom. A little trickier to get in here when there's this lip of this Dutch oven out here. And this way we're not putting any in the center of our 10 inch Dutch oven. Now we normally put about 16 or 17 on top. So basically that's going to be a pretty good ring on here. Another one or two. Let's see. There we go. And the rest are dump out. And they'll go evenly spread around the top of the bottom. That's now you're it. sure that's going to cook, huh? I hope. Yeah, it'll be fine. Doesn't look like much. It'll be fine. There's plenty. And there we go. We're going to do the same method. Should take about the same amount of time as we were going to put the regular uh, by okay, themselves. It's been 10 minutes. Time for the first rotate. So, to do that, first of all, we got to take the top Dutch oven and move it out of the way. Then we're going to rotate the bottom like normal. One third of a turn one way. And then the lid, a third of a turn in the opposite direction. And then, I didn't rotate this yet, so I pick it up, and now I'm gonna rotate it one third of a turn one way. And the lid, 
bit of a turn in the opposite direction. And that's it for now. We'll come back in 10 minutes and do it again. Okay, we've rotated them 10 minutes ago. And now it's been 10 more minutes. We're going to rotate our ovens again. I'm going to set the 10 inch off. Third of a turn on the bottom, just like we did last time. And we'll put the lid. Third of a turn in the opposite direction. Now we'll pick it up and rotate the top of it. Same way. One third one way. And back the other way. A third of a turn. And we'll give her about 10 more minutes. It should be a total of 30 minute cook time. That should be getting these dessert. No, it's breakfast. Breakfast tomorrow and our supper just about done. See you in 10 more minutes. All right. Now, what are you doing, hon? In 30 minutes, and we're going to see if our beer rocks are ready. Which is like a stuffed bun. Oh, my. Look at those. Yamarishas. Check the bottom. See how they look? I think they I'll look I'll go fine. fast. It's probably pretty hot. They're done. Oh, they're done. All right. Supper is ready. Now, you may think there's no vegetables in that. There are. Uh, cabbage. cabbage, but we're also going to use salad with it, too. Well, honey. What? It's time to eat. Time I'm to eat. hungry. We're going to dig into these beer rocks. Yep. Now, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to tear into these. You have a great night. Thanks for watching. Yes, and thanks for watching. Oh, and... Happy, Happy Memorial, Memorial Day! Day.